Hello, Nick family. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to give you my take on the New York Knicks game versus the Charlotte Hornets last night in Charlotte. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button. Let's get right into it. The Knicks beat the Hornets 121 to 106. The Knicks moved the ball. They moved their bodies. They hit the open man. They hit their shots. The Knicks shot 51.8% from the field. It was a joy to watch. They were without Randall. They were without Robinson. And of course, without Noel, Rose, and Reddish, it didn't matter. The Knicks played with pace, not just in transition, but in the half court as well. Barrett with 30 points, three rebounds, three assists, but it was an efficient 30 points. And that's what I like about Barrett. He had 30 points against Atlanta. It was very inefficient, turned the ball over, didn't hit his free throws, he came back today. He was over 80% from the free throw line. I believe he was 10 on 19 from the field. That's what you want to see from a young player already holding themselves accountable, making it their business to come out the next day and play well. And he did that. Burke was 17 points, seven rebounds, three assists. He played um, well also. Player spotlight. Obi Toppin, 18 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists, 72.7% from the field, 50% um, from the three-point line. I talked about Obi in the video I dropped yesterday. I talked about him on MBK pregame report. I talked about him again on the crossover. I believe Obi saw those videos, turned to one of his friends and said, hold my apple juice. And he went out and had a game. And it's not just the points. It was his aggressiveness, how he engage, engaged the game. You know, he put the ball on the, on the floor. He, he took four three-pointers. He made two of them. And, and, you know, you can argue this is what happens when you get 40 minutes. But I beg to differ. You get 40 minutes when you play like this. And Obi played very well. Shout out to him. Kudos. Job. Well done. Evan Fournier. Evan Fournier broke the single season three point made record that was previously held by John Stocks. He hit 218 three pointers on the season. He broke the record last night in Charlotte. Kudos to him. Fournier gets a lot of flat, but his role has changed on this team. This is somebody who can score on all three levels. He came in, basically, he's third fiddle to RJ and Randall. Basically, just a three-point shooter. And what does he do? He accepts the role. He finds his place on the team and he breaks the season, season, the season, um, the single, the, the, the season record. You know what I'm talking about. Kudos to you, um, 28. Job well done. These are the team stats. We can look at the points. We can look at the fact that the Knicks were out rebounded, but still won the game. We could talk about their field goal percentage, their free throw percentage, which seems to be an anomaly, right? 88.2%. But I want to talk about the assists. They had 30 assists. I believe that was the third most this season. And that's a testament to what I talked about in the beginning. They move the ball, they move their bodies, but they hit shots, right? You can move the ball, you can move your body, but if you don't make the shots, you don't get the assist. This Nick shot very well tonight over 50% from the field. Next game versus Miami, Friday. Miami is number one in the Eastern Conference, 47 and, and 26. They have lost two, but that means that they're going to be primed and ready not to lose another one, right? They're six and four over their last 10. They've, we, they've, they've beat us twice this season already. They're 12th in offensive rating, fourth in defensive rating, the Knicks are 24th and 14th, respectively, so the Knicks are going to have their work cut out for them. However, however, if they play the way they played against Charlotte, if they shoot the ball the way they shot it against Charlotte, they can beat anybody. All right? Kudos um, to the Knicks. Catch me on the Queens Court Monday evening where I'll break down the entire slate of Knicks games as well as look ahead to next week's game. That link will be below. Also, Friday, check out the NBK pregame uh, report on Simeon Russell's channel. We'll, they'll, well, we will. I should be there as well. 
break down the Miami Heat in depth, and we'll talk about keys to the game and key matchups. Appreciate you, fam. I'll see you Saturday morning when I'll drop my next video.